Another topic today. Let's illustrate the principle of double entry bookkeeping with a simple example. Suppose you start a small business called ABC Electronics, selling electronic gadgets. You make the following transactions during the first month of operations. Transaction 1. You invest $5,000 of your personal savings into the business bank account. Transaction 2. You purchase inventory, electronics, for $2,000 in cash. Transaction 3. You sell $1,500 worth of electronics to a customer on credit. Transaction 4. You pay $800 in rent for the office space in cash. Transaction 5. The customer from transaction 3 pays you $1,200 in cash. Now let's apply the double entry principle to each transaction. Transaction 1. Investment of personal savings. Debit, cash, asset, plus dollar five zero zero zero. Credit, owner's equity, plus dollar five zero zero zero. Explanation. Your investment increases the cash, asset, in the business and at the same time, increases the owner's equity, capital, as your ownership stake in the business grows. Transaction 2. Purchase of inventory for cash. Debit, inventory, asset, plus dollar two, zero, zero, zero. Credit, cash, asset, two thousand dollars. Explanation. The purchase of inventory increases your inventory, asset, while decreasing your cash, asset, as you paid in cash. Transaction 3. Sale on credit to customer and Debit. Accounts receivable. Asset. Plus $1.500. Credit. Sales revenue. Plus $1.500. Explanation. The sale increases your accounts receivable, asset, since the customer owes you money. It also increases your sales revenue. Transaction 4. Rent payment in cash. Debit. Rent expense. $800. Credit. Cash. Asset. $800. Explanation. Paying rent reduces your cash. Asset. And incurs a rent expense. Asterisk. Transaction 5. Customer. Debit. Cash. Asset. Plus $1.200. Credit, accounts receivable, asset, $1,200. Explanation, receiving cash from the customer reduces your accounts receivable, asset, and increases your cash, asset, as the customer pays off their debt. At the end of the month, you can summarize the changes in your balance sheet accounts. Assets, cash, $6,400, $5,000 plus $2,000, $800 plus $1,200. Inventory, $2,000. Accounts, receivable, $300. $1,500, $1,200. Liabilities, none. Assuming no liabilities were incurred. Owner's equity, capital, $5,000. This example demonstrates how each transaction affects at least two accounts, with debits equaling credits in accordance with the double entry principle. It ensures that the accounting equation, assets equal sign liabilities plus owner's equity, remains balanced.